फर्स्ट टाइम ड्राइव आई एम कैलाश मैन एंड दिस राइट हियर इज द स्पैंकिंग न्यू मर्सेडीज जी एल थ्री फिफ्टी इट्स बिग इट्स ब्रॉनी इट्स गॉट ऑल दी ऑफ रोड टूल्स एंड ऑन द इन साइड इट ऑफर्स लग्जरी एंड कम्फर्ट ऑफ एन एस क्लास लिमोजीन द बिग क्वेश्चन इज इट रियली दैट गुड वेल लेट्स फाइंड आउट इट्स बिल्ड लाइक अ रेस्लर इट्स फाइव मीटर्स लॉन्ग टू मीटर्स वाइड एंड टू मीटर्स टॉल But despite the bulk with a drag coefficient figure of 0.35, the GL is the world's most aerodynamic full-size SUV. Now the GL 350 has got a very passive-aggressive stance, especially with the AMG-inspired body style. I mean, it looks like one of those beefy nightclub bouncers, arms crossed, squinty eyes, sizing you up, quietly conveying, "Dare you mess with me? Because if you do, I'll drop you like a bad habit." Under the bonnet is a 3-liter diesel that chucks out 258 horses and 619 newton meters of torque. And transferring all that torque onto the tarmac is a 7-speed automatic gearbox and 4-matic all-wheel drive system. The new GL is not only bigger, but it's also faster and stronger too. It's got 619 newton meters that is 109 newton meters more 258 bhp that is 34 bhp more than the previous gen car. It's fast 0 to 100 comes in 7.9 seconds but here's the thing it's not furious i mean pin the pedal down and it will not throw you around like a rag doll for example i'm pinning the pedal down right now i'm doing 80 90 110 120 so here's the deal i can't go on like this but you get the picture it is pretty potent with more power and torque but it displaces all that extra power and torque in a placid fashion thanks to the crosswind stabilization system sudden wind gusts won't unsettle the gl and air suspensions promise a pillowy ride Now the air suspension is a nifty contraption it automatically adapts itself to the vehicle load the terrain it's been driven on or even the driving style for example the moment you cross the speed of 70 km per hour the suspension drops down by 15 mm as a result when you're pushing this hulk of an SUV around the body roll is negligible on dead straight highways the GL feels pretty slanted wondering will it fit fine for your city chores Does it feel to drive one well you feel invincible you sit pretty high up you have a great visibility of the road the steering to it's light at low speeds and firms up as you go fast and despite the mammoth proportions i mean this thing is pretty easy to drive around town but honestly this morning before starting the road test i was a little intimidated by the size of this whole thing like it or not this thing is as big as a mini bus but once you step inside It feels a lot more compact and I won't be going too far if I say it just feels like driving a little larger sedan. The interiors are quite essentially Mercedes Benz. The seats and the steering wheel are lapped up in luxury leather. Um a bit of a gripe the steering is not as chunky as I I would like it to be. The knobs feel rich and robust. I love this run down matte wood finish. It's not ugly like the glossy finish that you usually see in luxury cars. Apart from that you get temperature controlled cup holders so if you like your coffee hot or your milkshake cold all you got to do is press this nifty button the only glitch in here is that the interiors will remind you of the smaller ML350 because it is pretty much similar and that is a bit of a glitch but making up for familiar interiors are functional gizmos the 360 degree surround camera is perfect for off-roading and parallel parking Like the American or the European spec the Indian GL doesn't get power operated switches to collapse the second row of seating as a result you got to do it manually by pulling a few levers once inside there's ample headroom shoulder room but the leg room for a full size adult is a little too tight and then there's ton of safety that comes in standard nine airbags attention assist stability and traction system ABS and ASR2 Bottom line it looks sharp it's safe as a tank and offers S class like comfort and luxury sticker price stands at a splendid 77.5 lakhs ex delhi the big question should you buy one 
At 77.5 lakhs ex Delhi, the GL is definitely a rich man's toy. So here's the deal. If you have a big family and a much bigger bank account and you're looking out for a full-size luxury SUV, the sort which is rough and ready on the outside, completely at home, on-road or off-it, something that's brimming with bespoke bits and offers S-class-like limousine comfort and luxury, let me tell you, you can't go wrong with the GL350. Now we got Kailash Manu.